Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is officially my first video I want to say in regards to doing anything productive on this YouTube channel. Besides asking for charitable handouts. However, this is the Master Air Maker 8 by Clear Master and we're going to go ahead and get down to unboxing it. Just a little side note, this particular build is actually or this particular product is actually um, going to be used or had been used in a commercial by Cooler Master. Um, some person who was doing the commercial, they they uh, didn't know what to do with it. They put it on Craigslist. I bought it for them, and uh, this is the commercial quality product. So let's go ahead and get down to it. Um, it's fairly easy, I guess. Um, all you have to do is that I'm gonna keep on looking at the camera because I'm not really familiar with unboxings and how cameras work so All the boxing right here. I guess you want to say eco-friendly because it's cardboard You can actually recycle if you're into that type of stuff, which you should be we have um, them all labeled as in top plate 12 centimeter fan brackets manual and accessories so Go ahead and look at that. That's pretty high quality. Cooler Master logo. Go ahead and unlock that. And we have our little screws and whatnot. So if you guys can see, we have little screws, little risers. We even have thermal paste and a bunch of other stuff. So if you guys want to take an even closer look, I know sometimes these unboxings can be somewhat quick. Um, here are the brackets where it's gonna go onto the CPU. There you go. Um, here is, I believe, the manual. That's the manual, I'll take it out if you guys wanna go ahead and take a look at it. I don't know what type of quality a channel or a video like this requires to get a lot of thumbs up but hopefully I'm doing everything right but yeah that's that's a lot of directions right there it's pretty straightforward it's all visual so you shouldn't have much of a hard time doing it warranty information there you go and here are the other components right here I guess it's compatible for AMD and Intel I'll just take it out since the productive or production team already took this stuff out. So you got all that stuff. That's pretty cool. This is another plate. And you got this right here. Which I really don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out later. Alright, so that box is gone. Alright, so the 12 centimeter fan brackets. Let's go ahead and pick that. Um here are all the wires. Uh, I do believe that is a four pin, if I'm not correct. I'm very um, intrigued about knowing a lot of all these components, so I'm new to this too. And I believe this would be a Molex connector. Yeah, I sure am fucking learning. Yeah, I sure am learning, that's for sure. Um, here are the fan brackets. I believe these are all the brackets where you can put it on the side of the fans where it has more of a minimal look, covered look, not so much of a, a naked industrialized look. And that's where I guess the fans would go. All right, that's it for that box. And the top plate. Now, there are there are two top plates, guys. Um, one has um, a clearing for the Cooler Master logo and one uh, it's totally tinted and covered So we're gonna take a look at both of these because they're both in the box gonna Remove the that box So we got this plate you're gonna be able to see the cooler master logo a lot more clearly it has a Very tinny sound to it um, This actually alone came in a box this box particularly and um, some people said on YouTube that it's not very eco-friendly. 
I really don't care because it's going to be recycled. So technically it is because it's cardboard. And this right here is what I'm talking about. It is tinted that goes on the product that we're about to see. Sorry for the boring stuff. Here comes the big mama. And I say that because when I bought this from this one girl, I looked at it and I didn't realize how big this cooler was. So I'm going to go ahead and show you right now hands comparison i kid you not this is possibly as big as my head or at least half the size um here it is this would be it we have four um pipes on each side so that would come up to about what eight i believe unless there's four two more right here but yeah in general it's eight i i'm pretty sure that illuminates um, these are the fans, and I want to say they are 140 millimeter. I could be wrong. I believe they might be 120. Um, if anything, I'll correct myself on the annotations or in the description. Um, here is aluminum um, fins. I believe this right here would be the LED because it does illuminate red. Um, and these would be the fan connectors right here. So, yeah, it, it's definitely, it's definitely heavy and also large. I was not expecting it. I was expecting it to be half this size, but this is a huge, huge cooler. I, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble cooling my CPU, uh, specifically my 77K KB Lake CPU. Um, and I heard that that gets really hot. There's a sticker right here, guys. Um, be sure to peel it off. Because if you don't peel it off and you just stick it on the CPU and you know you start up the computer, chances are you know the temperature is gonna get really, really hot. And you're gonna you're gonna ask yourself why? Why the hell is that happening? It's because that might be on. Um, also, we have like these little things right here to where you can bring up the fan. Um, this way and I'll show you by doing it that if I can get it no nope. I'm just like fumbling around anyways we'll just do it this way Oh, there we go. So basically, it's it's a push mechanism right here. You push it, and it goes up. And you might want to ask yourself, why would you do that? Well, here's one good idea. This thing is so huge, even being on an ATX motherboard, you might not have room for RAM. So you can actually put RAM underneath it, and it'll rest on top of it. So. You might think that it might not have a lot of room, but you can actually raise these. So that's very genius. I'm gonna take this off and show you the fan itself. There you go. And this fan, I believe, has 160,000 um, minutes or hours on it. Here's the other fan also. It comes off. It comes off pretty easy. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and this is the actual um, cooler itself. Yeah. It has its logos. And also, I'm fairly certain, again, I'm fairly certain that illuminates because I don't see any wiring connecting to that. And I'm pretty sure it would all be inside. And the technology with this right here, if you guys did your research, is the fact that there's water in these heat pipes. And it turns into liquid, and being that the motherboard is gonna be parallel or horizontal like that, I bet I, I think the water is, or the gas, is gonna go over here, turn into water, and then go back and turn into gas. And I guess it's gonna bring the heat over there 
and then it's gonna cool it and then it's gonna turn back into water and turn it into gas um, that's just a quick summary I mean I'm still learning about this product uh, it was such a good deal I decided to get it um, but had no idea how big this thing was um, and these fins do seem strong it doesn't seem like they are going to to bend very easy um, I do believe this is plastic though that's plastic just so you guys know um, I just think it's a cover for the aluminum um, also the copper you guys can see the copper so that's pretty pretty genius right there it's all uniformed so yeah that's it uh, everything is unboxed if you guys like this video this is my first unboxing video I'm not very good at it I'm sorry but uh, yeah that is the master air maker number eight I believe um, I wonder if they have any numbers besides that um, but yeah that's it if you guys did like this video please for the love of anybody leave a thumbs up and if you didn't leave a thumbs down that way I get a lot of feedback I'll be able to improve on things like this because I'm building a PC and I plan on making another unboxing on each component that I get for that PC build that I plan on making and I also plan on building that PC and I might be able to air it also so if you guys like it leave a thumbs up if you guys want more product info on this I'll go ahead and leave a link and until next time guys see you later goodbye